Patrick and I'm here joined by Jimmy and we are thinking outside the pod I'll be your host for this week um I just said it right did I say that no I'm Patrick this is Jimmy yep we're your host this week yep for thinking outside the pod <laughs> um this is our what Jimmy our 17th episode 17 17th episode 17. we're still kind of working out all the kinks and stuff we've got some killer ideas that I want to start working on a little oh, bit yeah, on. definitely um We'll no, we'll we'll, let, we'll release those as we get them. Yeah. Just know there's some changes in the store, man. Hopefully oh. for the better, and I think I think they'll be a, a yeah. hit. No, yeah, definitely. They'll be fun. At the very least, fun for us. Fun for us, and that's always the the main goal here at Tot Pot. Yep. As long as we're having fun. Rule number one. Have fun. All right, let's go ahead and get into the to the the show today, man. Um, we got a we got a special episode this week. Uh, this week's episode just happened to come together with the friday the 13th uh we're gonna get into that in a little bit mm -hmm. but first i want to start off with with stupid things people do jimmy what's what's some stupid things you've seen people do lately oh man um uh, i don't know there's things that i consider stupid i mean people just i mean people just like i see stupidity i mean most i try to get a shy away from stupid people but like i can't avoid them like on the road driving oh you get people that are just like that Merge terribly. Like, what person the are you? Are you the person that drives slow, or the person that's behind the slow driver trying to honk and get around? No, I I don't honk, or I just try to. I do my best to avoid anybody that's like that. Like, if someone's like uh, like doing that, be like I I'm more of a. I guess I'm a slower driver. Um, but I mean, I'm not slow to the point of causing accidents. Those no. people I I try to avoid. But people. <laughs> try to get fast and they get behind me and i'm like ah leave me alone that so really sucks that's really annoying to me so i like slow down a little bit more just so they piss them leave off. Well, oh yeah, so, so they leave i'm like so to the, piss them off they'll be like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna bend to your will uh, jerk driver i'm gonna <laughs> just let you, let you pass and then when they pass i'd like yawn just to be like they don't phase me at all oh just, i always give them the finger and i honk but uh, no, I, I don't before probation i used to be a really aggressive driver really no and like nowadays i'm more more laid back defensive. Yeah. yeah well not defensive i still call it like a passive aggressive driver <laughs> it's I, like i just i'm the dude that you speed up on my butt and i like stomp the brakes as hard oh, as i can no because I, I, uh, I got insurance <laughs> you know yeah i mean, I, mean so I have like, insurance as well but i still so don't want to like, fuck these guys i'm i don't want to go through any hassle if That's you're trying to get thing. somewhere in a hurry, you hit me, you're not going anywhere, buddy. I'll jump <laughs> out of the car and follow you. I'll follow I'll jump on your car, whatever it takes. Wow. That's not passive aggressive. That's just aggressive. Well, I mean, I call it passive aggressive because <laughs> it all starts with me slamming the brakes to, like, slow them well, down. Well, still, you know? even then, that's... Mine, I'm more passive aggressive. Mine oh, okay. So more, I'm, like, more aggressive aggressive. Mine, <laughs> I, I do things that aren't technically, like, direct, but I'm, like, still making them angry. Yeah, I always like to give people the finger though. It's yeah, cool. that's aggressive. I've got some uh, some list here we found <laughs> uh, on uh, trending on BuzzFeed, folks. Yep. BuzzFeed is that what it's called? Yeah. All right, cool. I'm I'm kind of out of it today, man. Uh, I've been hitting the glue too hard. Oh snap. Yeah, it's a hell of a day to quit huffing, so I had to go back to it. <laughs> we we got a uh, trending on BuzzFeed. Twenty seven people who prove there's such a thing as dumb question. Now, all, not all of these are very good, but I'm gonna read through some of the 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 funniest ones I found, and they some of them get done right ridiculous jimmy <laughs> um tell me what you think of these people and how you would what would what would you some of your responses be and i'll come up with some from my own as well okay um this first one says um um does putting your phone in a bowl of rice really attract asians to fix your phone <laughs> it says my phone broke and i don't have enough money to get it fixed i heard somewhere on the internet more than once already that if you put your phone in a bowl of rice it will attract asians and they will fix your phone is that true and down mm -hmm. below it says best answer Yes, but make sure it is white rice and organic. Put it in a steamer with some greens. Oranges would be nice as well. If they don't come within 20 minutes, keep adding a cup of rice until they show up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What? Uh, oh, and then at the bottom it says, yes, putting it in a bowl of McDonald's uh, french fries attracts Americans. Putting it in a bowl of pasta attracts Italians. Putting it in a cup of tea attracts a bit British, etc. <laughs> what would one of your answers be for that? Oh, my gosh. I would... I wouldn't I wouldn't respond to it. It's too stupid. That's that's like my big thing is like oh my You don't God. want to condone the, like yeah, the, I mean, the stupidity. I, I mean I've heard that rice fixes phones because it when it's wet it absorbs it the water. Yeah, it absorbs yeah. the water. But uh, 
But yeah, that's one of the funny internet jokes I've heard where it's like it'll attract Asian people and they'll fix it. That's hilarious. Um, I don't know. I, <laughs> the The response to it was perfect. Yeah. yeah. The, the, both of those responses were funny, dude. This <laughs> next one says, um, how big is the Pacific Ocean? <laughs> And the the best answer says, um, "Can you be more Pacific?" <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, this is perfect. Let's see. There's uh, so much clever things online. It's awesome. I love it. Love looking at like funny things. Cause does uh, anybody know if it's possible to scan a mirror into oh, um, um, a computer monitor to turn the computer monitor into a mirror? I've been scanning and scanning, but it doesn't seem to work. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's a good one. Man. Like, how are you gonna <laughs> scan a computer? <laughs> scan, I mean, a, scan, scan a mirror. A mirror. Oh my gosh! There, there was I forgot what it's from. It's like uh, the world needs a new plague. Yeah, There's too many stupid people. I mean, we need, we need a culling. Well, I mean, that's what I, I think about. Like, uh, well, like we have those stories about like teenage drunk drivers that are like killing themselves because they're getting too hammered. And mm-hmm. I'm like, man, there's got to be a way to like, you know, like you said, take care of like the weak ones. You know what yeah. I mean? Like weed <laughs> them out somehow. Yeah, get like the the stupid people out. This one was a good one. My boyfriend takes birth control, and we have sex without, a, and we have sex without a condom. All right, I'm going to start this one over. <laughs> if my boyfriend takes birth control and we have sex without a condom, can I still get pregnant? I'm allergic to birth control pills, and he hates wearing condoms. <laughs> <laughs> no? Oh. These are serious questions, uh, man. I I have a hard time believing. Well, maybe it's because I can't put my mi- mind in, in that dumb of a place. <laughs> I can't th- I can't think well you always have stupid things that you think of like in, in but like, that you don't say like, right sh- like shower thoughts you, you like it you're just you think of something you're like wait whatever i can't even think of anything right now but you always <laughs> have those thoughts but you don't throw them in public you don't put them out there <laughs> you you just you're like oh my god i'm an idiot and then you <laughs> of course i can't scan a mirror and yeah you know it's like <laughs> come, come out on, as a mirror dude. but uh but <laughs> but yeah you don't i it's just so dumb People need to think of things before they post. Before they ask Yahoo questions, dumb oh, questions. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm. Uh, I wonder if they know that this is like going out to everybody. You know, they. Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, because it's like asking your best friend. You'd ask your best friend this kind of shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Your best friend to set you straight. It'd be like, "No, stupid motherfucker. Listen, yeah. man. No, yeah. dude. If if yeah, there, if there's a lull in the conversation, you just say, "Why don't they make tires out of road? Then you can drive anywhere." Like things yeah. like things like things yeah. like little statements like that. You're like you say to your friends just because you're. It just pops in your head, and you're like, oh, I wonder what their reaction with this to that would be. But uh, you don't post them online. That's Never just, that's post dumb. them online, yeah. dude. This next one's good. What language is Finnish? My sources tell me the language from Finland. Am I right? <laughs> is there such a thing as Finland? Yes. There is. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> we well, I thought it was Sweden. Isn't it Swedish? Finnish? Don't they speak Finnish in Sweden? I don't. I'm not sure of the languages, but yes, there is a Finland. So, do they speak Swedish in Finland? I don't know. Hmm. From, I, I'm gonna have to Yahoo question that. Yeah, shit. or just <laughs> <laughs> don't ask Yahoo questions anything. Yeah. Google everything; you can find the answer easy. Oh man, they're taking the fun out of it. What about like when we want stuff for? The, oh, this next one's good. Hold on. <laughs> I was bitten by a turtle when I was a young lad, and I can I still drink orange juice? <laughs> that I have no idea where it's coming from. The other ones you can kind of get people's confusion, but that I don't even get that. Who the fuck the worries <laughs> about not being able to drink orange juice because they were bitten by a turtle <laughs> when they were a kid? Oh my this gosh. is the best answer from Pirate Man. Answered, no, if you drink orange juice now, it will activate the turtle venom in your ve- veins and send you into a coma. Didn't anyone ever tell you this before? <laughs> that reminds me of uh, It's Always Funny and Sunny in Philadelphia. Where uh, Mac is always telling Dennis not to eat apple peels or apple seeds because they're extremely poisonous. <laughs> then he does, doesn't he eat like a pear or something? He eats the sticker and everything. Well, on yeah, it? well, yeah. That's that's uh, that's uh, Charlie in a different episode. He's like, yeah. I've never eaten a pear before. It's like, where do you start? And then he finally gets one and he eats the whole thing. Mac he's like, turns around <laughs> for a minute. Yeah, he's like, what? He's like, where's the pear? Why? And he's like, I ate it. And he's like, you ate the core? And he's like, yeah, it was really disgusting. And, <laughs> and the sticker? And he's like, yeah. yeah. I eat stickers all the I time. all the time. <laughs> that was good, dude. Oh, my gosh. All right, Jimmy. If I masturbate, will I get pregnant? I've never done it before, but I feel like I need to. People say using a hot dog works, but that doesn't <laughs> doesn't that have bacteria all over it? Oh, my gosh. What if, I, what if I use something a guy has put his fingers on? Will that get me pregnant? Oh Additional yeah. details. You... <laughs> know that you have to have a penis instead. I'm not dumb. 
I just want to make sure that if I get touched by something some guy used, I wouldn't get pregnant. I was pretty sure, but I'm just guessing. I would, <laughs> I would say to that person, yes, <laughs> that will get you pregnant, just so they will never procreate. Never procreate for real. Yeah, we don't need we, don't need we don't we need we don't need those <laughs> genes in a gene pool. I love this next one, gene pool. Listen to this: Is the 13.3 inch much smaller than a 14 inch? What's your guess? Of course. Well, not mu- Yeah, it's smaller, but not yeah. much smaller. This is the best answer to it. Take a ruler, look at where 13.3 mark is, and then shove the ruler up your butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like those responses to those stupid <laughs> questions. Like the you got to <laughs> give them stupid answers, <laughs> yeah. man. You know? <laughs> yeah, <Come on>. exactly. <laughs> All right, Jimmy, how about this one? Don't trust the government. That's what I'm going to say about this one. Do you mm. think NASA invented thunderstorms to cover up the sound of space battles? Oh, snap. What do you think? That's... A conspiracy for sure. Probably not. <laughs> I mean, you know, you've seen Star Wars. You've seen Star Trek, man. Yeah, I mean, there's all these battles going on, and we never hear them. Maybe it's maybe just because there's, maybe there's a storm invented by NASA, and then meteorologists are all spies. They're in cahoots. Oh snap! <laughs> the best <laughs> they answer that person might be onto something. <laughs> the best answer was, we think you should see a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Oh, I love this next one, too. This one gets a little creative with the answer, man. This is a short question that the answer just, like, totally goes through it. It says, why do doors work in mines? <laughs> oh, snap. Best answer. If you refer to the Appropriate Size Employment Act of 1928, which was signed into law by President Coolidge, you'll see that it's federal law in the U.S. that your choice of profession must be in accordance with the advantages or disadvantages of your height. This eventually led to the massive midget labor strikes of 1929, but was overshadowed when the stock market crashed, and therefore was never pu- enough public support for the little people to form a strong union. Source, history. <laughs> That's awesome. I, <laughs> I, like I said before, there's so much creativity online. I, it's so awesome to see. <laughs> like, we, like, back before the internet, we never... I mean, you could be funny to people, but not as many people. You know, you yeah. didn't find as many stupid people in one area, yep, man. Exactly. I swear. <laughs> and if you did, you got to make new friends. Yeah, dude, leave, for real. leave that area. Yeah, they're just <laughs> killing you, sucking your will to live. <laughs> Jimmy, let me ask you this. Can you lose your virginity if you fall? Can you? It's a debating question between me and my friend, it says. Hmm. Well, I, as a girl, I'd say maybe. The best answer was if you fall on the penis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's good, too. This has, like, some geography involved. I live in Georgia, but I don't see no Russian tanks, not even anywhere. There says there should be, <laughs> and uh, should I be worried? Oh. I heard on the news that Russia is invaded, but I don't see them nowhere. What's going on? Best answer, you are in the state of Georgia. The nation of Georgia is on the other side of the world. <laughs> oh, man, that's awesome. Do you think cats know that you were masturbating? I'm just asking for a friend. No, I don't think so. They probably just want to know what that thing moving in your pants, not knowing it's your hand. LOL. XP. Yes, and they tell all your friends and family that you do. (laughs) Yes, they have little pages embedded to their ears that alerts them when their master is masturbating. They quickly break the code of the silence and phone their cat friends for a short sheesh. (laughs) I'm not gay. I'm not against gay people in the slightest. But how do penises fit into each other? <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Is the best <laughs> answer, best answer. <laughs> <laughs> dude. No, that was only the case. That is so fucked up, man. <laughs> how far is it of a drive from Miami to Florida? Oh, that's that's dumb. That's yeah, there's no answers to that. That's people don't. I I honestly think some of these are like. Not fake, but they know they're being stupid, and because uh, I mean, you you don't Yahoo question that, you Google that, <laughs> and then you figure out you're an idiot, and you meant to say something else. That's uh, uh, this I other hate, one. I was, hate dumb people. Was just a response. It says no, there are no white people from Africa, especially South Africa. Only black people. Oh, that's racist. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's n- past dumb and that's jumped into <laughs> racist that's the re- <laughs> most ridiculous thing i've ever heard <laughs> speaking of ridiculous things man um yeah. like we started at the beginning i wanted to say the you know friday the 13th that yeah. was you know during this podcast mm-hmm. and stuff that we've had this week um i've got a kind of a horror story we'll go into some deeper horror stories but this one just seems to be ridiculous and i mean i've never really been like like oh friday the 13th bad shit's gonna happen to mm-hmm. me but like after all this stuff happened to me today i just had to like kind of smile about it a mm-hmm. little bit 
because it made sense. I was like, dude, any other day I wouldn't think twice about <laughs> it. So I'm leaving here. I'm getting up into the, uh, pulling up to go make my cell phone payment at the place of business where I actually do my service at, which actually it sucks really big cock and balls and like cups the nuts and oh. strokes the shaft while it does it. But um, I'm not going to get into names. Starts with an S. Anyways. <laughs> Wonder who. I'm standing out. <laughs> I'm standing in the. I walk in the door and there's like three Synonym people. Synonym for running fast. There's three people, you know, standing at the. There's three guys behind the counter and three groups of people, you know, doing their business. And I'm like, all right, not too long. And the guy's like, hey, welcome to S store. I'll be right with you. <laughs> I'm like, all right. So I'm standing back in the back of the cut. And um, all of a sudden I notice that like the two of the groups of people that are there, they're not really together. There's just like this creepy person looking over the shoulder of the person in front of them. So I'm like, okay, there's an extra, there's two more people ahead of me, no big deal. Mm-hmm. So one of the ladies leaves, and the the guy behind her walks up. So I'm like, all right. And this all of a sudden the door opens, and these two ladies walk in, and they walk straight up to one of the guys at the register that's already helping people. Mm-hmm. And obviously, um, from what I got, they mistakes, they they forgot or mistook something. Mm-hmm. So they went back to clear it up, um, mm-hmm. to ma- finish making their payment or something of like that sort to get their tra- data transferred, something. So they come up on the side, and that guy's like, oh, yeah, hold on. It's going to take these guys a few minutes to get this done, so let me help you guys. So I'm like, all right. You know, first of all, these mm-hmm. people are breaking off into groups after they're all, like, in one group. Besides that, there's people that just walk in the fucking door, and mm-hmm. then they get, you know, served right mm-hmm. the fuck away. So next right, time, right, should right, I just right. walk up to them and be like, say, man, I need to make a payment? Yeah. I'm like, totally cutting <laughs> to somebody just, else's just business? Shoulder your way into the Yeah, the man. Front. <laughs> so um, I, th- those people leave, and then I'm like, all right, because I'm about to be next. And all of a sudden, around the corner from looking at phones, I guess, in that area, mm-hmm. like three more people come out. And one of them goes to the other side where, like, they're, they're doctoring up their phones and stuff. And the other two get in line, right, like, right next to me, not behind me, like, right next to me. Mm-hmm. So I'm standing there like, man, there's got to be some fucking kind of take a number <laughs> bullshit going around here because <laughs> I am not about to come in here and be served last when these fools are, like, looking around the damn store. People are leaving <laughs> to go pick up shit and coming back to pay off. This is just getting to me, and I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm about to punch somebody, like, everybody in the face as hard as I can. Oh, no. And um, they, call, they call me up, and mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, so I make my payment. <laughs> so I get out of there in about 20, 25 minutes, man. Usually it only takes me, like, you know, five minutes, dude, mm-hmm. to walk in there and make Ugh. a payment. Give them your cell phone number, give them the cash, and walk yeah. out. But um, I guess today just everybody decided to activate new lines of service. They're, like, starting their fucking <laughs> families or whatever the hell it's called. <laughs> so anyways, um, two blo- about a block and a half away, I pull into the Whataburger because, mm-hmm. you know, my pops, my brother at the house. So I'm like, I called him up and I'm like, all right, I want some water burger. And they're like, yes, all right. Being the good son I am, I stop by and I pick up three, uh, what was it, the patty melt sandwiches. Nice. You know, super sized, large, biggest fucking cup of soda you can imagine. Mm. Like super gulp size. Um, I get the big old french fries. And the chick, she's she's kind of fucking hot, man. I can't lie. <laughs> I was like trying to like smile. I was making eyes at her through the drive through window. <laughs> But um, she gives me one of the cups, and I'm like, all right. And it's like she's holding it with both hands because it's like a fucking, you know, two mm-hmm. armor and shit. Yeah. So I put it in the, like, I, like, flip this s- console in my car, and there's a cup holder on top, three cup holders. So I put mm-hmm. it on the top one. And then I reach over, and she goes, you want a, a, you know, a cup holder? And I'm like, yeah. Mm-hmm. So she gives me a cup holder and puts it in a bag with some ketchup, and I put that in the bottom of the car. She gives me food in the few more minutes, and I'm smiling. I'm like, bye, you know. <laughs> I got on to the, to the street, you know, down the driveway to the street where I'm going to turn to the right, and I'm looking, and there's nobody coming. And I see, like, this car start pulling over to, this, to the my lane. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, fuck this. So, you know, I'm passive aggressive or aggressive aggressive. Aggressive driver. I see him switching to my lane, so I just, like, kind of hit the gas and turn. <laughs> so right when I do that, off of the fucking top cup holder, uh-huh. this cup of soda, like, launches and I'm, I'm looking at it in slow motion because i just lit up a cigarette and it's like the cigarette's falling out of my fingers because i'm just like <laughs> oh, no. freaking out yeah <laughs> and then the, the soda bumps into my chest spills so- it opens up spills soda all down my right side ice cubes all over my crotch the whole right leg of my shorts oh. and boxes is wet my socks and my new shoes that i just got are soaked and um i'm hauling ass in front of this guy who's now honking at me from behind me <laughs> Because I fucking cut him off. Yeah, because so you cut him off. <laughs> so I start to scoot over into the turn only lane because I'm going to have to hang a left eventually. Mm-hmm. They get the red light and I'm scooping ice cubes and fucking soda out of the seats all wet under me. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not happy at this point. I, I dropped my cigarette on my shorts and I got a little burn hole in them now. <laughs> so I, I'm going down the street and I'm holding the other bag of fucking sodas because I'm like, I don't know. Because maybe that chick that I thought was kind of cute and I should have put all the fucking sodas in the bag. <laughs> that way, take that water burger, you know, drive through lady. If you're listening, no, if she's listening, I uh, give me a call. Hey, but anyways, name's Patrick. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so uh, I get to the house and I'm like, French toast sticks. 
So I, I go and change all my clothes. I put on my favorite shirt and realize that I've gained like I don't know, like fifteen <laughs> extra pounds. This shirt <laughs> no longer fits me properly. Oh, I hate that. And I I hate it too because it was one of my favorite shirts of all time. I love to wear that shirt. And there's another one that I love that's the same size. <laughs> so it's like, man, I just I got cut out and I start thinking about like all the cake and ice cream and crap that I eat when I get home from <laughs> while work. you're eating a patty melt. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I threw that patty melt down. I threw it down. <laughs> That was in diet starts tomorrow. Yeah, you know that's my <laughs> that's my motto, man. My yeah. diet. I'll start dieting tomorrow, <laughs> and then I drink like a fucking eighty-two ounce cup of soda, of <laughs> fucking triple meat patty milk, <laughs> what a size fries. Oh, those fries are no joke. It's like a happy meal full of French fries. <laughs> but um, so yeah, I'm I'm taking off all my clothes. I switch on some other. I take off the shirt that makes me feel fat. I mean, probably look <laughs> fat as well. <laughs> Take that shirt off and find this shirt. I put this in on, put some shorts on, put some new shoes on. And, and I take all the wet stuff to the back, to the laundry, and I set mm-hmm. it on the floor. So right as it's on the floor there, um, I throw some detergent into the, the washing machine. I put my arm in it to steer it up because I hate to, like, leave chunks of it. Yeah. Because it, like, it'll leave white chunks on uh, your clothes. Yeah, yeah. Especially the, powder, the, the black clothes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm, like, steering it up, steering it up. So I started picking it up, clothes off the floor, throwing them in, clothes mm-hmm. off the floor, throwing it in. So, um... There's like a few sacks left on the floor, and like uh-huh. I, I'm like trying to stuff it, it, my clothes in with one arm, and I, without looking, reach down with the other arm, and I grab like two sacks, and I feel something that feels like a jumbo pencil, huh. and <laughs> it's pretty solid, you know. So I, I grab it, I, you know, not with a really tight fist, but uh-huh. I like a tight enough fist yeah, not to drop anything. Yeah. And right before I'm about to throw it into the washing machine, I open my hand and I look at it, and I got like three fucking pieces of dog turd oh. in my hand, along with one of my sacks. <laughs> and we're babysitting my sister's puppy for like oh. the week, so I'm pretty sure because my puppy usually goes outside. Yeah, and I mean <laughs> uh, he knows better than the shit inside the house, man. But I guess this little dog didn't realize that, so I'm holding his shit in my hand. <laughs> oh, girls! I wrap it up in an old T-shirt that I'm gonna throw away anyways, and threw it away. Wipe my hand, go wash uh-huh. my hands. After I'm done washing my hands, I, I start to think. I'm like. I wonder if I threw any of that shit in the washing machine. Oh, no. So I go and open the washing machine, and I start pulling all these wet clothes out of there. And I search, like, all around the bottom, and I didn't find anything. But, like, poop floats, I figured. So I started searching around the top. And then I started going through clothing a piece, went out of my time, and I said, fuck it. And I, you know what? I'm going to have to make a phone call. Because if my brother puts my clothes in the dryer with a fucking dog turd, oh, yeah. I, mean, I am going to fucking shoot somebody yeah, in the face, I mean, dude. And right now, if, if there was any in the washing machine, it, it probably like got like liquefied like with all yeah. the churning. So it's just like permeated all the clothes oh, in there. Oh, no. gross. <laughs> yeah. Now I'll know if you come in and you smell a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that I was would, my day, I'd man. make that call as soon as you can. That was all between like well, that's 6.30 and 7 <laughs> yeah, o'clock, that's, 8.30. That's Friday the 13th for you. Well, they say like bad things happen in threes. So the long line at the, the phone place, the, the drink, and then the, the, the poop in your hand. So, so you might be good for the I'm rest of the day. I'm clear now. Knock on wood. <laughs> <laughs> you broke the wood. <laughs> oh, no. I, I don't, I'm supposed to go out and meet some friends tonight, man. Oh, uh, uh-oh. Supposed to have a date and shit, and I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm like, dude, there could well, be maybe. Well, Friday the 13th, maybe more than th- more than three things will happen bad. I hope not. Uh, man. Are you are you uh, are you very superstitious are you at all? I mean, sometimes I am. Sometimes I'm not. You know. Yeah, I don't think I am. I don't like to like see black heads cross in front of me, or else yeah, I'm like, I'm like ah. any of that kind of stuff. I'm like, I'm like any. Uh, I don't believe in it. Yeah. But then, like, <laughs> shit like this happens, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, makes me, maybe maybe the, it it in your head kind of made it happen, like self-fulfilling uh you have prophecy. any bad luck like that? That's what I'm figuring. Do you have any bad luck like I that mean, on, on occasion? Everyone. Well, <laughs> like whenever anything goes wrong, I'm like, oh, this always happens <laughs> wrong. It's so like I'm, I'm I walking to my – I'm like I'm walking from like – I'm like laying down trying to go to sleep, and then I need to go to the bathroom or something. So I walk, and then I step on a box. I'm like, ah. Of course, I stepped in a box. I, <laughs> thanks, life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was like, you put that box there, Jim. I always <laughs> kick my the edge of my bed where like it cuts your pinky oh, toes up oh, or your big yeah, toe. Yeah, stubbing up. your toe is like the worst thing ever. But yeah, small things like that, uh, I, I, it happens to me. Or like, I put like my keys on my desk and then they fall. I'm like, God, <laughs> the worst thing ever. Why me? <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Thank you, life. Thanks, fate, you jerk. Yeah. <laughs> you just, you the set them. Luck. You put them down. But I mean, things, small things happen. I've never had any big bad things happen. Like, 
<laughs> like days where I can remember like it just all went wrong. I'm pretty laid I've, back. I've got so. the, the the bad luck of of with girls especially. Like I'll, I'll go through a couple examples. I was working with this one girl um, downtown at the, one of the uh, like convenience store kind of places in the mall. Mm-hmm. And uh, she was really good looking, and and I always like I kind of had the hots for her, so I'm always hitting on her. But she had a dude, so I was like, you know, there's no way what's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. We were cool. She was friendly, you know. She smiled at me, laughed at all my dumb jokes, and <laughs> she she fucked with me on the rigs. And this chick like always had a straight face, mm-hmm. so like I couldn't tell when she was fucking with me until she starts smiling about mm-hmm. it, because I'd be like <laughs> totally believing it, yeah, you know. Gullible. Gull- gull- gull. So yeah. um, she always get me like that. And uh, one night, a few years like after I stopped working there, about two or three years later, I was at a party. And um, I ended up seeing her at this party, and mm-hmm. she was always like a real thin girl, man. Mm-hmm. So um, I seen her at the party a couple years later, and it looked like she put on a little weight. Not like a lot. She didn't pack on pounds like mm-hmm. I have, and I can't fit into my fucking favorite T-shirts. <laughs> but um, but if she looked a little little bit thicker than when I remembered her, mm-hmm. and maybe it's because we were kids back then, you know, and yeah. we, we grew up a little bit more. Mm-hmm. But um, so she saw me, and she started smiling, and she waved. So I walked over there, and I'm like, dude, I'm like, what's going on with you? And she's like, nothing. I was like, so when are we going out? She's like, well, whenever. She goes, I don't have a boyfriend anymore. Uh-oh. And I was like, oh, Uh-oh. man. And I'm already like a couple beers and a couple shots. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, you know, I used to look the same, man. I used to look so much the same. I go, you just look a little thicker. Oh, no. And she just like, her eyes opened up wide. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. I could tell I did something wrong. So I like reached down. I grabbed her arm. And I go, no, just in the arms. Uh-huh. And then her mouth dropped open. Jeez. She like pulled her arm away and like turned around and i never saw the rest of the night again oh my gosh yeah that's that i wouldn't say that's bad luck that's just that's just you being well, r- wrong put my foot in my mouth yeah often, yeah man. that maybe that's yeah, that's the difference at least didn't say it's like she's like yeah whenever I, I don't have a boyfriend she's like wait and then you say like well just lose a few pounds and then call me yeah no <laughs> like, i should have said that that would have made me look like a little more you know like not such a fucking idiot no that's terrible well i know but i'd well, rather be an t- asshole than an idiot you know what i'm saying <laughs> come on man well no she probably still sees you as it's an a-hole both <laughs> that Aww. fucking idiot is an asshole well i always well things like that it's different like uh like whenever like uh fast food people or like people at the movie theaters they're like uh enjoy your food or enjoy the movie and i always say <laughs> you as well. You too. <laughs> yeah. I, I hate. Th- I, I do hate that all the and time. Then I'm, and then I'm like, God, idiot, idiot, while I'm walking <laughs> to them. And then you I'm turn going. around and you look back and they're like telling everybody and <laughs> behind the cuts just standing pointing at you. Well, because they all, I always assume that they'll say ha- have a good day or something like that, which like what I used to say because I was in the service department and I would say y'all have a good day or something like that. <laughs> so I assume people are saying that, and then of course the natural response to that is like you as well. You too. But, Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> it's like, enjoy your food. Oh, you as well. You enjoy my food as then well. I'm just like, don't look back. Drive through, drive through. Just drive away. <laughs> oh, I think, oh, I hate, I hate that. People in the service industry, don't, don't make your goodbyes j- specific. Make them generic. Yes. Have a good day or. <laughs> have a good day. Have a nice life. <laughs> see you next time or something. Never see you again. Fuck yourself. Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Driving away from the drive through I'm never coming to this place again. Yeah. Dang it. Yeah, <laughs> another, another place I got to scratch is, off the list. This is a close Jack in a Box. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> to go to the one across town now. <laughs> because they're going to think I'm a fool. <laughs> yeah, things. Ugh, I hate I hate when I do that. Definitely. Yeah, the, this one other time I was walking this girl home from, from on Christmas trip to her apartment. And uh, we were talking about the, the decorations. I go, when I was a kid, my, my dad used to make me and my brother put them up in the house. I go, but whoever put them up had to take them down. I go, so nah, I really don't mess that. Nobody puts up any lights. Yeah. So she's like, oh, well, that sucks. And uh, She goes, so you didn't put any lights at all? And I was like, yeah, you know, we put lights and we're walking up. And there's this apartment with, like, crazy lit up from, like, the street level. Mm-hmm. And I'm looking up at it. And I'm like, yeah, but, you know, nothing like, like that. That's a little too much. That's a <laughs> bit much. And. She turns. She looks up there and she sees it. And then she turns back and looks at me. And she's like, "That's my that's apartment." My apartment. Oh no. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's like the. <laughs> that's I'm like, like a dude. thing out of a movie. So <laughs> then we we go upstairs and uh, her mom and her sister are visiting. So her mom and her sister and then she goes, "Hey, uh," she introduces. She tells me their names and she goes, "This is Patrick, guys," and he says that we have crazy amount of lights outside of her apartment because he <laughs> hates Christmas or something <laughs> along those lines. And I was just like, man, I spent like a five minutes there that felt like an eternity. And yeah, I told her oh I had to go. I was like, I got I to gotta go. I'll see you guys. Like, nice to meet you guys. My phone's ringing. I had to vibrate. Oh, Dude, oh I got to go. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Look at the time. I was like, oh, <laughs> my God. Why fucking me? Yeah, that's <laughs> that's like I said, that, that's something like out of a movie, like bad luck out of a movie. 
I'm telling you, man, this this stuff happens. I'm like, I'm sure there's like plenty of other things that I can't remember at the moment, but those are the two that stick out in my mind. I'm like, oh my god, I'm just I'm I'm not I when before I had a, like the last couple of girlfriends, I really didn't have any kind of filter for what I said. Yeah, I curse a lot. Um, I get loud when I get drunk, and you know I get obnoxious at times. But I, it's <laughs> always like life of the party. You know what I mean? It's like people are either partying along with me and having a great time, or they're sitting back going, "What the fuck?" You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not yeah. in be there's no in between with me. Yeah, that's complete opposite of me. I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, introverted. I never say anything. So if I'm saying something, Man. I've I've gone through it like a hundred times in my head. So I I know it can't be bad. I don't have. I, I like, mean, I'm unless just, it's I just off the cuff. It, I just spit it out. It goes from like my brain to my mouth and like yeah. nothing in between. No no filters. No, no. filter. I have, like, too, I have too many filters. I've gotten better because like all the girls I've been with who like kept me from saying stuff. But I'm all like, like Bill Burr said. It's like fuck it, say it, see what happens. You know what yeah. I mean? Shit. Well yeah. I mean, <laughs> worst thing is I mean you might get embarrassed a little bit or something, but. Not, I don't know something about me. I just never do anything. I never. Well, I never used to be anything. really introverted, man. I was, I was like, you know, to myself like a lot as mm-hmm. a kid. Um, and, and you know, I guess I've broke out of that shell a little bit. But I wish I could go back to it sometimes because, like, sometimes I just <laughs> like, go a little over. <laughs> yeah, right. At, yeah, what after you say something dumb? Yeah, yes. I. That's. Yeah, I guess that's me. Maybe I'm just gonna have to break out of my shell. Maybe this podcast will do it. Yeah, this podcast will do it. Uh, we got a, we got a whole lot of yeah. good stuff coming up. Yeah, man. Sp- yeah, some of the things we have planned are, will break break me out of my show. Yes, well, Close you're gonna that. be we're gonna do be doing some acting. Jimmy's gonna be doing some some rapping. Oh yeah, um, we've that's, got that's in the works. If you guys can hit us soon. up on Twitter, I'll write a fucking country song. You know, I do. Oh yeah. yeah, I could sing about you know, drop the soda in my pants. Oh yeah, the Whataburger chick. The Friday the Thirteenth country help song. Petting my crotch. <laughs> Pet my crotch dry. Poop in my washing machine. Oh, I, I hope got, not, man. I got poop Damn in it. my washing machine. Hold on. Let's call somebody. <laughs> Are I'm you going to call, call him my, now? My pops right now because my brother's probably passed out on the sofa. <laughs> Do you want to take a break or? No, nah, just keep talking. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, so, yeah, a lot of things planned um, for the podcast and also for, uh, for our YouTube channel, which uh, if you haven't checked on that. Uh, Patrick Cullen. We'll yes. see if they answer. I'm totally making a call. <laughs> um, I hope they answer, man. <laughs> I don't hope like if they see it, they do something about it. And I'm like, oh, there's all this shit in the washing machine. Yeah. Fuck it, throw it in the dryer with his clothes. <laughs> or they'll be like, yeah, it's your washing machine smells hey, man, bad. Um, oh, did you um check all my clothes? I, I did. You didn't see no crap on it, dude. Did you? All right, cool. I was just worried like that it broke up or like you know you heard from the dryer like staining my clothes. All right, excellent, man. Thanks so much, Dad. Bye. All right. All right. Good. Pop says everything's Good. cool. So they say okay. So well, no, then I guess that's not a, that's not the <sighs> third thing. So you got you got one more thing coming. No, today. we already had three things you said. <laughs> no, but that wasn't a. Oh, it was in just in your hand. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was in my. That wasn't hand. too bad. It wasn't. Did it touch? Did it touch you? Yes, it was a wiped all uh, over my fucking palm. This part okay, right here. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. It's still there. He didn't. It doesn't it. smell or anything, but I can still tell where it was. It was like all the way across this <laughs> part. You'll never. These and probably like on my <laughs> inner knuckles. What is what is that? Uh, the league. <laughs> these hands are unclean. Forever unclean. I tell you, man. I just. <laughs> it was not my fucking few hours that are a little okay, while ago. Okay, so you may be safe. You may not be. Depends on what <laughs> fate. Well, decides. next podcast I'll tell everybody about what happened yeah. tonight. Because tonight I'm going to try to have a good time with some oh, friends. Well, good. I am going to try to go to sleep because I got work in the morning. Oh, <laughs> I hate that work in the morning. Yeah, weekends are not fun. 6 a.m. weekend call, and then 5, 5 a.m. on Sunday. Yeah, 6 on Saturday, 5 on Sundays. Ugh. But I, I feel sick just thinking about it. I try not to think about it as Ugh. much as possible. Yep, it's not fun. That's a fucking horror story in itself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it... it <laughs> It's it's fitting that it's the day after or days after Friday thirteen because it's just bad, just bad all around bad. Well, I mean, I the mean, people aren't bad mostly, but it's just having to wake up early when we're that's the when worst. I work nights. Yes, you're <laughs> not a morning person. I'm not a morning person. Yeah. So ha- you know, I used to wake up at nine at thirty every fucking day, but now this, since I've been working like straight, I don't wake up to like eleven thirty, twelve o'clock, and yeah. I shower and come into work. Yeah, I don't set my alarm for anything earlier than But noon. I can't go to bed until like 2 p.m. or 2 a.m., man. Yeah. Like crazy. Yeah, I know. Well, we get off at 11. I mean, you need day time to decompress. To rest. Yeah, exactly. So 
I don't I don't get these weekend working things. Me neither. Not 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 a good idea. But nope. We should just make Foster work the weekends. Oh man, that guy. Just by himself. He could do it. Yup. <laughs> well, picking up back. Let's get back on a better note, guys. Um. Um, unless you've got anything else to say, I just wanted to bring up some more about the, the, some of the skits. We're doing some little comedy skits, um, we're we trying to put together. Well, yeah, um, we have some ideas from like, uh, we have skit ideas that are kind of just one off type deals. And then we have some like longer running series, like some like reoccurring segment skits that we want to get, do. We'll get to. Um, and that's going to. Whenever we have time, I guess is when I is figure the next couple of weeks. Um, yeah. If not next episode, the uh, if not maybe like two, three episodes down the line, I yeah, figure we we'll can start with that. Um, we can start talking about it more rather than just kind of generic. I want to be able to stuff. to go through and, and you know produce a rundown. We can start going through it, and then we'll just you know mix match and, mm-hmm. and tweak it a little bit until we got it going good. Yeah. But I think uh, that's, you know, we're going in a good direction. Um, we've got some audio stuff for our podcast. We've got some video stuff that for our YouTube that we're going to discuss on our podcast. And then you guys can go and see the final product when we post it on the YouTube. Um, so th- th- other, our podcasting and our YouTube channel are going to be two of our biggest mediums. And we're going to kind of mesh them to mm. to feed off of each other. Yeah, definitely. And I, I think it'll be good. I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait either. Um, you guys will get to meet Foster sooner or later. He's gonna be helping with some of the skits. Yeah, and <laughs> maybe on the podcast we'll have him guest. Why not? Maybe. Yeah, he's you know he's not all there sometimes, but he's a pretty smart kid. When he when he does know what he's talking about, he knows what he's talking about. But yeah. a lot of other times he's just you know flying past Mars in his own mind. So <laughs> that's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother episode right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, um, that's our Friday the Thirteenth special, man. Hope everybody out there in podcast land is safe this weekend, tonight, especially the full moon, Friday yeah, the 13th. You'll be, uh, well, they'll actually be hearing this on Monday. So Oh, so I hope everybody was okay, like hopefully, survived. Hopefully you all survived Friday the 13th. Tweet at us <laughs> some of the horrible things that happened to yeah. you guys this weekend. <laughs> yeah, if anything, anything, any bad luck situations occurred, definitely. Facebook us if we like it. We'll send you some stuff, man, some swag. Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. But other than that. Yeah, that's that's our episode, uh, thinkingoutsidethepod.com. You'll find all of our social media links so follow like subscribe all that jazz yeah make sure you subscribe itunes and stitcher um thinking outside the pod.com we've got all the links to all that stuff you can hit up our youtube check out some of the videos we've had um we've been um laying low on the pro- promotions that the videos we used to do because we've kind of both been working a lot and hadn't had a lot of time to do some of this stuff but we look forward to bringing you guys some more of that stuff in the all future right, well, yeah have a good week peace guys good night Thank you.